All right, all right. Good morning and good evening and good afternoon, everyone. I am re-recording this episode here because I was not happy with the way the audio sounded on the last one. So um, I'm hoping this will be a little bit different this time around. And um, yeah, I think that I think that this is going to be a little bit better. The sound quality should be better, so it should be a little bit easier to hear and see me talk. So uh, what we're going to do, we're going to go over to a deck that I created, and we're actually going to walk you through some of the things that I have been looking forward to walk you through um, over the course of this time here. So... Um, yeah, so I think let's go ahead and hop in to what is Apex. So I'm going to go over to a screen. Let's go over to this screen here. And let's do... Let's do left monitor and webcam here so I can be on as well with you. So what is Apex Trader Funding? So you might have heard a lot about prop firms. And basically the concept of these prop firms is that it gives you cash. Uh, well, basically you pay a small fee in order to pass what's called an evaluation. Once you pass that evaluation and prove you can trade, then you're given the uh, performance account. Now, these accounts, at uh, we'll go through what these accounts look like and what they mean and how, uh, go all through the details surrounding these in a moment. Um, but you, you just need to know that this is something where you risk a lot less of your own capital and you're able to command um, a real trading cash. I mean, for the good prop firms, there's some shady ones out there too, but I like Apex a lot. I've One of my mentors sent me out to this and I've, I've stayed with them ever since. I might venture out and see a few other ones um, in a little bit, but for so far so good with this one. I like the way that they've helped train me, make me a lot more consistent based on the rules. So what is Apex here? So things you need to know about, I would highly recommend you explore the frequently asked questions. Um, you can certainly read about the benefits of their program. Yes, this is marketing material, but uh, what you need to know is if you're trading futures, you're going to be able to trade from 6 p.m. till 4.59 p.m. the next day. Um, so it's a much longer period to trade. If you have a job, then you can certainly trade at different hours that you would like to, if you can stay up that long. So um, that's one thing that I that that really connected me to go to futures instead of options during the New York time only. I will still play options, but uh, more longer dated stuff at that time. So let's talk about plans. So right now, with Apex. There are different funding plans, meaning like if you see 25K, that's $25,000 in starting capital. Typically, when you trade futures, you need some level of margin account. And in order to trade one contract of futures, um, there are different things like micro contracts, what you'll see here with micros. Um, basically, 10 micro contracts, it's like a tenth of one real contract, one regular contract of whatever you're trading. So... This is one of the best things that you can do as a new trader if you're really, really risk averse and you don't want to lose money. Um, this is certainly one of the best things that you can do uh, in order to really learn how to trade, um, not be phased by fear of losing money. You're not risking a lot of your own money. Um, we'll get to the price in a moment. Just know that this is around 147 for the lowest plan, 167, 187, about 20 bucks each uh, for more funding. So let's stick with the 50K plan for this, for our intents and purposes here. So on Apex, there's two different plans. You can choose Rhythmic slash Ninja Trader, and that's what you see on my charts. Anytime you go, I go live or do market prep, um, this is what you see. Or you can go down further, and there's these Tradeavate slash Ninja Trader programs. Tradeavate actually interacts with something called Trading View. Um, if you've not heard of it, it's actually a really good charting software. And um, oh, let's just go search NASDAQ. Okay, let's close out of these. So this chart, you basically, basically you can connect with the uh, trading view and trade straight from this chart. 
It's kind of cool because you can trade from mobile. You can manage your trade a lot easier on Trading View Mobile. Um, but we're not going to go too deep into that because I know friends do it, but I don't. I like trading on my desktop and um, hopefully you like the same too. So looking at these contracts, you've got a whole variety of these based on how much you want to risk. Um, if you're just getting started in the prop firm, you really don't need more than maybe the lowest or the second lowest account. Uh, yes, it says 167 a month, but let's think about that. Um, oftentimes there's a 50% off sale. So if you go to, if you go to my YouTube, youtube.com slash at Johnny Lee Lin, and you go to my about page, I have linked you to Apex here. Um, and yes, this is an affiliate account. Um, but what you'll get is you'll instantly get this code applied. And right now you can see it's 80% off for the next three hours or so. Don't fret, you'll have other opportunities for this and I can let you know when those happen. Um, but just let you know to get that, at the very least, my code will give you 50% off. And you'll see those sales all the time, but you'll see these a little bit more rare and occasionally you'll have a 90% off sale. Um, so just keep your eyes out for that. Um, yeah, outside of that, you know, $167 a month, let's say you have half of that, right? $83 a month might seem like a lot. You divide that per week, 20 bucks a week, divide that by five trading days. That's about $4 per day. So break it down like that for yourself mentally and say, Hey, you know what? I pay more for, um, whatever subscriptions and, and, and college sports and that cannot gain me money. So break it down that way and see for yourself, you know, make sure you go through my link. Um, if you don't, that's fine too. You don't have to, all it does is, uh, instead of giving apex a cut that gives me a small cut for referring people. Um, but yeah, you don't have to though. You can go straight to the site. You don't, you don't have to use my code. Just my code will give you at least 50% off. And then during the special sales, it'll give you 80 and 90% off. So, uh, some benefit there. So, um, back to the apex itself. So well, the next part's really quite important because I'm going to go through how you can go about trading these. So you're going to go through, click on this, you're going to sign up and do all this stuff, put your information in and sign up and everything. Um, once you get past that point, there'll be instructions. There's frequently asked questions as well on how to get started. And so you'll see a variety. There's a masterclass training course that you should check out before you start trading. And then there's like how to connect um, to rhythmic uh, troubleshooting. How do you, uh, how do you, how to, how to think about the buttons? How do you um, think about how you fail uh, a performance account or what happens? How do you pass an account? how you deal with trade of eight stuff. So all of this stuff is here. The frequently asked questions here is actually organized very well. I, I uh, kudos to the apex people. It makes it very easy to see. Um, and, um, yeah, I think, uh, it's going to be really, really a lot of, a lot of, uh, information for you in the beginning. If you've been new to prop firms, if you're not new to prop firms, then you can skip this, you know, you can skip this whole part. You're already familiar with it, right? Just familiarize yourself with the rules of Apex. So one question I keep getting is, hey, how do you pass these accounts? What happens? So again, the the and, and what we're going to go through we've already we're going to go through exactly how that works evaluation versus a performance account what it looks like when you pass an account what how you know when you passed it um we're going to talk about a trailing stop loss example to make it easy for you to understand how to uh how to not blow your account quickly at apex trader funding this is one of the most frustrating things for you as a new trader so if you pay attention to this next part, which is very important, um, I guarantee you, you won't blow it quite as nearly accounts on accident. So um, the last thing I'll talk about are simulation accounts. With every single one that you buy, you're going to be able to create as many sim counts as you want. This means demo trading, um, trading real price action without any money. Um, so let's go into what Apex is and how it works. So. 
Um, for that, I think there's an example. There's a frequently asked questions as well, but how Apex works is initially, they'll start you off with what's called an evaluation account. This is not real money. They are checking to make sure that you can trade consistently, that you can trade with a good plan, that you can trade with good risk management. And what that means is you're not YOLOing and waiting for the moon, but you're actually taking profit along the way to minimize your risk. They, this program sets you up to really, really learn how to do that well in a scalping environment. You will not be able to hold trades through weeks, months, years on um, holding those long-term trades and swinging, they're called swing trades. Those type of trades are not something that you want to use Apex for. So if you like to swing trade, this is not your platform of choice. There's too much gap risk between day by day, economic event by economic event. So we kind of use this to mitigate risk. So, um, so basically you're going to be trading on your evaluation account. And at some point when you pass, you'll get an email kind of like this, where you say, hey, we confirm that your uh, thing passed, download your certificate of, of uh, download your certificate of proof, and then you'll get a certificate like this. Um, and then from there, you're gonna be able to, you know, log in, you're gonna see your different performance accounts in there. And of course, um, let me pull over this, took this earlier. So when you actually look at your account summary, you're gonna see the different Apex um, accounts that you buy. And I tried to capture this the other day when I passed an account. So you, when you hit to your, you're gonna trade each day for five, six, seven trading, like trading days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. And then what'll happen is, after that seventh day, when you pass, you'll get an email, that email that I saw earlier, and it's gonna say, hey, you passed, you need to pay your amount uh, for for the PA cost, the price of the PA account. And once you do that, and once you uh, sign up, then you'll have a performance account, which is denoted by this PA there. Um, this is on one of my accounts that I kind of like have around. I've got a couple of different accounts. So um, this is one of the ones that I felt like showing because I got a chance to finally capture that one. And uh, as you can see, you know, I've this is one that I played around with a little bit more, but I've also used a lot of, of the 90% off sales to do so. So um, very low cost for me. I, again, this might be a lot of money for you. So I do not want to discount this, but Either way, you don't want to be risking ten like thousands of your own dollars if you can just risk you know a hundred or you know eighty dollars and and command twenty five hundred to twenty five thousand. So that's about it on what you'll see when you pass your performance accounts. Um, so once you pass your performance account, uh, what you'll what'll end up happening is you will end up naturally going and trading with a net new account. It gets reset to zero. You've got about 50,000 back in your account. If you gained 3,000 during your SIM trading and you passed, well, you'll get reset to 50 and you do it again. But this time um, you won't be trailed. There's a concept of trailing stop loss, which this is where, and this is very important here. This is where most people blow their accounts, okay? so. What is a trailing stop loss? Well, it is a rule at Apex where as your account grows, the trailing stop loss trails with you and you can only lose so much before your account blows and you have to buy a new one. So um, a lot of people don't understand what that is. So what I wanna do is give an example so to make it, to make it easier for you to understand. So let's say that we started with a 50K account. The trailing stop loss amount for a 50K account is subtract $2,500. So if you lose $2,500 um, and, and, and you've trailed up to that, then your account is considered as blown. So 
if you think about these accounts, not as 50K accounts, but initially as $2,500 accounts, you'll respect the risk a lot better and a lot faster, okay? So this is really important for the newbies. So this example on day one, two, three, four, um, we have 50,000 that we start off with on day one. Let's say that we, um, we trade, we trade, we trade, and we actually realize that we buy at a low price, we sell at a high price, and we get $500 of realized gain, okay? So we've realized it, we've bought, and we sold at a higher price, we pocketed that $500 difference. And let's say that on unrealized gain, we never let price get any further. We took our profits right at the top, so that full $500 is also our unrealized gain. This means our ending amount is $50,000 and $500. So where does our stop loss trail? Remember, our stop loss originally was subtract 2,500 from 50,000. So it was $47,500. So this trailing stop loss goes up based on your unrealized gain. So you can start to see how important it is to take profit. So now our trailing stop loss is $48,000. Day two come back the next day, okay? So you come back the next day and you've got $50,500 to start with. You trade, 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 you know, go in a few trades, you get up $1,500, but at some point you get into a couple bad trades, lose a thousand and you decide, hey, I'm gonna cash out, I'm $500 up on the day. Well, you're $500 up on the day, so that ending amount is 50,500 plus 500, which is $51,000. The problem is, is your trailing stop loss has gone up because you, at some point, your account was worth this plus this, which is $52,000. That was your max unrealized gain. So it doesn't matter that you only captured $500 of it. It matters that your account got up to that level and you didn't take profit. So what does your trail do? It goes from yesterday's trail, 48,000, up $1,500 to $49,500. So this is the tricky part for most people. So play this back, pause the video, take notes, do the math. So you understand it, okay? So, at the end of the day, we were left with 51,000, still respectable, right? But then let's say on day three, we lost $1,000. We just got into the trade. We kept on adding to it when it was losing trade. And eventually it got to minus $1,000. And we said, screw it, we're gonna cut the trade, we cut it. So we cut the trade at minus $1,000, which puts us down from 51,000 to $50,000 in our actual account, right? Seemingly break even, right? Wrong. So remember our trailing stop loss trailed up to $49,000 and 500, $49,500. So you can see we ended at $50,000. You see how this, ending stop loss level has also trailed up at this point in time. Well, what does that mean? You're left with 500 more dollars to lose. If you go down to 49,500, you've blown this account. You've lost the evaluation account money and you're done. So I hope that was valuable. Play back that math if you if it's confusing, but but it's there. That's gonna help you understand how a trailing stop loss works. Okay, so you need to know that if you're going to play with um, if you're gonna play with Apex. So outside of that, I think um, one of the cool things, and many many brokerages do this, but when you get into Ninja Trader, there's gonna be something called simulation account that you can create, and you can make these accounts, you know, whatever, you know, I made this simulate a $50,000 account. Um, sometimes I made it simula simulate a $2,500 account because really that's your account, right? For these $50,000 accounts, you don't have 50,000 yet. You have 2,500 in drawdown. Now, one cool thing that happens though, is if you get to the performance account, 
So this, this trailing stop loss that we saw in the example, yes, this trails up continuously if you're an evaluation account. But once you get to performance account, uh, let's assume that we got to a performance account here and we made it all the way to uh, $52,600, right? So in this, you'll read this in the fact, frequently asked questions as well, but when you reach to the trailing stop loss plus $100 in the performance account, it stops trading it stops trailing up to you for you. What does that mean? That means you finally built up a nice buffer. And as you build that buffer further, you'll be able to use higher leverage when it makes sense to. Okay, so it, it, let me know if that makes sense. But that was one of the most important parts that you need to know while you're managing your accounts very well in the beginning you need to think of it as a $2,500 account until you build up a nice solid buffer where you can afford to take a few more contracts. Yep, so um, I think that is really it. Um, I wanted to keep this as short as possible, um, but again, let me know if uh, let me know if this was difficult or if there's other areas you have questions on for Apex Trader funding. Um, again, my link is over in the YouTube about page. Uh, you can go to my YouTube and the about page here and you'll be able to go to this link with my code DBVI BOHK. Um, again, like you don't have to use this link, but if you really are like super weird about affiliate um, offers, you don't have to use this link. Um, I don't need, you know, your extra. I just enjoy like seeing people start to get on the bandwagon and, and, and try to create their own future with firms like Apex. So um, with that, I am closing out today's lesson. Um, I'm going to hop on and do a live review in about 30, 45 minutes or so, uh, closer to 10 o'clock. And um, so I will see you all in a little bit, but I'm going to let this video render. So hopefully this was helpful. Let me know if you have any other questions about Apex Trader funding or prop firms in general. I've seen a lot of them. My friends are across the board on all of them. So um, I just personally like uh, Apex Trader funding. The people there are great and uh, they're very fair and they pay out. So um, with that, I'm going to close this lesson. Uh, thanks a lot for listening and let me know down in the comments if there's anything that you need and uh, if there's anything that I could have done better on this one. But if you can, if you're not already, like and subscribe if you made it this far. Uh, I really appreciate all my subscribers these past couple of weeks. It's been incredible getting a chance to serve you and I hope I can continue to provide some value. So take care, everyone, and uh, good luck trading.